Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my gaming channel. It's time for the new video from Gothwig. So here it is, my five favorite things what I like about Game of Thrones, winter is coming. So here it is, this is my castle. I'm trying to build, trying to do the research all the time so there is no gaps. And my fifth favorite thing what I like, we're gonna start from the back, is Weirwood Tree. I think it's a fantastic idea to use the that red tree from TV serial and a book, of course, uh, to use it for the commanders, to upgrade commanders, to receive commanders, because so many of them are for free. And so I'm very pleased with that. And the idea about separating this for the normal and elite with all that equipment, which is, let's just say, more logical, nice and steady, easy things to get. The only thing what we have to do is play. Another thing what I do appreciate is that blitz a button. As long as you got three stars, you can just blitz this and you can get all the equipment very fast. It's just sometimes, you know, you need to get that extra hearts, but still it's worth it. And the blitz is very helpful, uh, you know, to save time. Can you imagine if we got so many events uh, where it's required to fight in the wayward tree and you just try to do the battle every time? or even with the double speed, but it's still gonna take you a long time. So it's just easy to just press this a few times and we and, and it's done, okay? It's not always uh, exactly what we're looking for, but still very helpful, okay? Let's move on to the next one. It's outside the castle. Of course, it's no secrets. I said that many times that I really like to attack rebel leaders. I think rebel leaders are fantastic idea and the way how they made um, it's, it's really cool because of the rewards, the range of the rewards, what we can get from it. Uh, you know, it's just so plenty of speed ups, shields, uh, resources, not so much, but, uh, you know, those items, what we need to um, craft some other stuff with it. My, all those materials, blue diamonds. So this is very, very cool thing. And the only thing sometimes I feel then it's, the statistics what we using to attack is changing with the updates. I don't like that. I wish to this this kind of things can be avoided. I think we have enough levels of uh, rebel leaders to attack. The fifth one, I'm not recommending that one. I know many many of you uh, are still going for that one. Uh, I know it's sometimes it's worth it. I was very unlucky with this. I'm, I've done like 20 or 30 attacks on level five and I didn't get anything special. For, from that 30 attacks, I think I got one or two purple items. The rest of it is just like uh, random garbage. Uh, so compare level two and level three are giving me far more better stuff. And I still gonna recommend level two attack level four. Uh, the same situation and it's on the same number of favorite things is attacking rebel groups, like elite ones, which gives also fantastic rewards uh, if we have a double bonus, then it's even better, but this is really pay off. Uh, this is fantastic thing to do and attacking this every single day. That's why I actually happy with um, what I actually set up a uh, few months ago about more investment and more research and uh, castle and everything else to receive a more endurance, you know, to, so this I can attack far more every single day even if i want to do some dragons i still going to be able to do a lot of rebels as well uh, so yeah elite and that idea with the, at least the medal for their bow of course many of us don't need that anymore but still uh it's still worth to attack the elite ones in my opinion uh, another 20 level 25 of uh, those uh, not that normal group is still good um, sometimes you can get the rope from it i think uh, elite ones I'm more lucky with the red cooper uh, but uh, with the normal 25 I don't know where they are now uh, then I get the rope a green rope at least or blue one sometimes so it's still good to do it um, as long as it, there is event for it like even in Westeros pass required us right now uh, to attack the normal ones the elite doesn't count so I'm just gonna keep attacking the highest level possible so that's what i suggest for you let's move on to the next then oh no 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 let's not move on yet i'm gonna show you actually a few rewards yes i just want to actually share with you guys uh so this is on level attack on level five 
so the, yeah that was wasn't too bad but in the same time I get once you, you know how much motivation costs to attack one level five and so I get experience which I don't need and then there is uh, wood like 100,000 wood so that was really bad um, there is something oh yeah this was the from elite group uh, this was on a uh, when they, they give a, they gave us a double reward that day so I, I would you know that was a fantastic one of the best hit I get for on the rebel elite in this game uh, you know lots of speed ups for everything is healing uh, training troops and speed ups you know in general uh, the blue diamonds resources materials and there is still uh, you know high level of red cooper very 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 nice and there is another one uh, what else I need here <clears throat> oh this is another cool attack not all of them are gonna be so great what I'm showing you uh, this is for those players who didn't try it too much yet most of the attacks are generally good uh, it's not it's not a bad thing it's skill still you're supposed to get your research done get your stuff done lords commanders equip them with all that stuff with necessary uh, and try to attack uh, so this is my setup uh, which I will go in and manage to get one purple one blue one green and then one gray as well uh, really fantastic uh, I saved only some of those just to remember uh, the setup sometimes or in the, the damage what I'm uh, doing to them and then later if I upgrade this uh, if I changing any any commander in that if it's anything um, anything better of course there is something like this can happen uh, so this is from attacking level 3 but this also happened to me with a uh, level 5 uh, don't worry about it if you got something like this just just move on uh, it happens to everyone uh, there is few other attacks there are sometimes very good ones I do still uh, recommend to attack level 3 4 uh, level 2 as very good but the worst what you can do is attack level 1 this is the only thing which you're supposed to do it on the beginning of the game even if you have a Westeros pass a task you are still supposed to attack level 2 because the the motivation what you're gonna use for it for level 1s and you think you're gonna get that faster rewards or something it's not true it doesn't work that way and items what you receive from level 2 are far more better uh, than than what you're gonna get from uh, level 1 you know how many times you have to hit level 1 to get something green for example no level 2 are very very generous um, and so on okay I just want to share with you I don't gonna make this video too long let's move on to the next number so the third thing are shields you can see on the castles many of players are bubbled up uh, let's go to the diamond shop and let's have a look we got 8 hours 24 hours 3 days and then even 7 and 14 days shields this is very important very nice Miss this kind of stuff is missing from many games from of this kind uh, that's why it's on my uh, number three also there is so much easy to get them the amount of those uh, we're getting like from those rebel leaders and we're getting from so many events uh, there are, there is so much much easier to get the blue diamonds here and we can uh, get those uh, shields so the numbers you know numbers are talking here and you know yourself then if you're gonna play for a while even if you have to bubble all the time you still can manage to do so as long as you can get online uh, you know if you can't get online that's another story but with the shields you do have options you do have possibility uh, to shield up yourself even for two weeks so this is unbelievable plus from me for this game I know many times in my videos I'm gonna criticize them for something but for this one is one big plus uh, this is something what I do I play plenty of games not only of this kind but many others but then when I see something good I am gonna mention about that uh, compared to many pay to win games this is uh, when it comes to shields Game of Thrones winter is coming is absolutely a top one uh, winner on this one uh, very much appreciate uh, the only thing really are waiting for to see this in some of the events and not only for the you know top players for the smaller players as well because this is going to be a game changer for them uh, i think the big players don't need so many shields 
uh, like the small smaller ones at least that's my opinion let's move on to the next one so we are back inside the castle and i've done it a few days ago a week ago or something the video about iron bank iron bank is one of the best building in this game and because it's very generous well designed it's fair to uh, ask to like uh, in, you have to invest in a building it or leveling up uh, but then you have a very nice return for it this is just an example uh, guys it's up to you uh, if you uh, want to invest for uh, seven days you know or, or for a whole month or something uh, this is absolutely your choice of course plenty of players saying that seven days is the best investment the best return on that i doing 30 days only because of sometimes i go phone call i need to go somewhere i don't gonna be on i just wanted to make sure that something is <laughs> something is working here very well okay uh happened a few times i'm not taking the risks uh if i have a chance and i know i'm gonna be definitely online and i'm gonna be all uh, you know on a game and stuff that they, i do will go for the seven days one but 30 days is something which works for me right now is your option you doing the math you're gonna check what is works the best for you but you get guys m the most important thing is to get that iron bank on the level nine so you can actually feel the percentage and feel the return i know it's one of the most expensive building here and uh, we're all rushing for t4s unlocking other buildings because they are needed necessary uh, but don't forget then sooner you're gonna do iron bank on proper level then faster you're gonna feel the return of your investment it's just simple like that okay let's move on actually we don't have to go too far for number one it's right next to it is that tower is unbelievable cool idea to use this in two purposes uh, first for scouting warning all the marches and stuff uh, of course with the glory level is another story uh, but management with the protectors is something unique for this game it's another and one of the most uh, cool ideas because even if we we can have two other castles under our protection we can actually uh, gifts is something what i have to look after as well so it's fair then one player helping us if we are not the protector of theirs so we don't you know we're not using uh, shields for them uh, then we can at least give it as a gift that's why we've got uh, two different kinds of shields one is what we're using for ourselves and one uh, another one for the protector thing uh, so this is fantastic and now with the wedding thing we got even more options guys this is the war game pay to win game yes but in the same time we got plenty of options for the protecting each other plenty of uh, things which we can do without spending money uh, like with that shield stuff you do not have to spend any money sometimes you just have to keep it down keep it steady don't hold the gold and stuff any any resources in your army uh, in your castle save for a while and then later on you will be able to use more shields in a proper moment this is all depends on your tactics your plan what you're planning to actually achieve in this game as well and what's your budget if you are planning uh, you know something big okay now I have to pick it up so this is my top five this is what I do like in Gothwick I'm waiting for your comments what you think about this game what is your top five maybe more things would you like I think it's worth to mention that the tavern is a very nice idea one of the ships not both that's for sure uh, I think very much appreciate the merchant ship is very nice idea very cool thing in this game as well uh, it's just not under that kind of level like uh, five other things what I mentioned at least for me uh, that ship doesn't count as a casino for me but in general this is very very cool castle uh, with lots of nice buildings and waiting for new updates something would we can extend uh, our kingdom let's just say like this okay thank you very much for watching I will see you next time